Click below to watch the original Sense video or to buy Thor. As new bits of text appear on the screen, the old bits of text that are already on the screen jump around for no reason. Just in case you mistake it for Puente Antiguo, Kentucky. Well, Puente Antiguo isn't a real place, so... It's 965 AD when the Frost Giants did battle with the Asgardians on planet Earth. That's like only a thousand years ago. We don't have any record of that whatsoever. No one wrote anything down. Well, if there were any humans left alive there to write it down, I could really see your point. Also, I don't know what literacy rates were in Norway in the 10th century, but I'm guessing they were low. Asgard is such a beautiful realm filled with gorgeous CGI. How dare they use CGI? They should have just gone to the real Asgard to film this. But you're not king! Thor is really angry after his dad bitch slaps him in the weapons vault, but he waits until he's all the way back home to express that anger. I mean, how can he be so in control of his emotions that he can travel all the way back home without crushing and breaking something, but also be so out of control that he has to upend a table in his own home to feel better? Well, since Thor owns that table, he knows there aren't going to be any major consequences for destroying it. Meaning he doesn't have to be as angry to do that as he would be to, say, destroy something that isn't his on the way home. Wow, this room is like a shrine to nipples. <sighs> I'm going to take a sin off, but I'm not going to be happy about it. Whoever holds this hammer... If it be worthy. Odin leaves it up to the hammer to determine the definition of worthy. I mean, could it decide to give itself to James Worthy? Or maybe the hammer uses Odin's definition of worthy. We have no idea how this magic works, but I assume Odin the uberwise ancient being has got it covered. This town's name means ancient bridge. The Spanish explored New Mexico in the 16th century, so even if the town was founded back then, someone would have had to remember the story of the battle between the Frost Giants and Asgard that happened in 10th century Norway, the one no one ever bothered to write down in the history books. The bridge still connects to here, and we have no reason to believe that no one has used it since. But sure, no one should know the bridge is here because of that battle that happened a thousand years ago. No, it can't be. One of you hung this picture on the board without noticing the man shape in it? Well, the shape is faint enough to see it and not immediately go, well, that's a fucking guy. This town is home of the Vikings. An appropriate mascot. Everyone remembers those old tales where Eric the Red sailed the Gulf of Mexico and shaped everything we know about the western United States. Because as we know, all mascots are chosen really, really logically. I mean, in my high school we had the lions, that famously German animal. They said it was 50 miles to the hammer site, and while Jane and Thor are driving there, it's broad daylight. And then they try and sneak in a quick sunset shot right at the end, but do their faces in this shot look bathed in sunset glow? No. No, they do not. I mean, they kind of do. And if you look at all the shadows in the background, they're all really long, consistent with it being late in the day. So I'm gonna call bullshit on this one. And then when we cut back to them after a quick Asgard visit, it's the dead of night. The sun has moved like 12 hours worth of distance in 50 miles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. There were like a few condensed mistakes there. Let me just, let me just figure this out as we go. And then when we cut back to them after a quick Asgard visit, it's the dead of night. The dead of night? That looks like dusk. I mean, late dusk, but it still looks like it could be dusk. The sun is moving- Um, actually, Jeremy, it's the Earth that moves around the sun. Uh, sorry to any flat earthers who happen to watch my videos. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. No, I'm not sorry. It's not my fault that your beliefs are stupid. The sun has moved like 12 hours worth of distance in 50 miles. 12 hours would probably mean it was the next morning already. That is not 12 hours, by any measure. Super top secret government alien media rights site. Guarded by no one and completely approachable. Unguarded and approachable, you say? Well, let's see. Guard, guard, guard. Guard, guard. Guard, guard. Big fuck off fence with barbed wire on it. Guard. Guard, guard. Guard. Floodlights. Um. Guard. Guard. Nobody saw a big blonde dude approaching or tearing up the fence around a highly secure area? Are you telling me that no one in your team noticed these guards as they take up basically the whole screen when they wrote the words, guarded by no one? Oh, also we specifically know Hawkeye is guarding this place. Hi Eric, it's me. Even though the hammer is putting out tons of electromagnetic energy and causing cell phone reception to go crazy, and she's in the middle of the desert, Jane can still make a phone call with no problem. What you're showing there is cell phone screens going crazy, not cell phone reception. Movie just asks us to accept that Loki can be invisible without any prior explanation of his abilities. Well, yeah. But it is pre-established that he's the trickster god, so this really does make sense to be in his roster of abilities. Now Loki goes to the Frost Giants wearing his usual Loki wardrobe. Did he bring a change of clothes with him while he was transporting realm to realm? Loki can change his appearance at will, and that includes his clothes. Uh, this Hubble telescope. Thor speaks English, but somehow thinks Hubble is pronounced Hubble. 
Either that or he believes mispronouncing it will lead to a moment with Jane and she'll have sex with him later. Knowing English doesn't mean you immediately know how to pronounce everything. I mean, Hubble is the name of a specific thing that they don't have in Asgard, so why would Thor know how to pronounce it? I will return for you. Except when I'm hanging out with the Avengers, I might be too busy then. He said, I will return for you, not, I'm going to spend 100% of my time with you and never do anything else ever. Because, you know, I think that would be kind of off-putting, actually. So, the cent total was 21 cents, and the punishment will be an abrupt ending. Yeah, so I have got quite a lot on my plate at the moment, so expect shorter videos from now until May. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this. Next week's video will be on the Brooks Show videos of The Incredibles. Your mum.